Congo police releasing new surveillance footage as they look for the shooter who critically wounded a five-year-old boy. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at Area South Police Headquarters with more on that. Julian. Micah, the five-year-old boy at last report still in critical condition at Comer Children's Hospital after doctors worked to relieve the swelling on his brain in emergency surgery. The innocent child struck in the head as he sat on his living room sofa playing with his iPad. The brazen attack captured on surveillance video, the gunman climbing out the window on the passenger side of the vehicle to get a clear shot. The family was all together, the mom cooking chicken nuggets, the child playing Spider-Man. Activist Donovan Price describing the peaceful calm at this Roseland 2 flat on the 200 block of West 115th Street. But about 7.30 last night, police say, someone from inside this car opening fire on the home, striking a five-year-old boy in the head as he played on the couch. She didn't have a coat. She didn't have her shoes on. Price describing the awful scene with the terrified mother out in the cold, watching paramedics take her boy away, rushing him to Comer Children's Hospital in Hyde Park as detectives work through the night to find leads. It appears that uh, we have some footage showing a vehicle traveling from the east to the west and discharging around the fire toward the, the residents. Chicago police asking the public to take a close look at this surveillance video of the suspect's car. If you recognize this vehicle or have any information on who's responsible for last night's shooting, please call Chicago police. Community activists from groups like Chicago Cred and Aclavis, the community health organization, among others, marching near the victim's home, praying for the boy and his family, but also demanding resources to help steer at-risk teens away from the streets. Us trying to continue to uh, condemn young people is not working, evidently. So we need to try to reach, a, uh, extend an olive branch to these young people and try to get an understanding why they hurting so bad that they hurt each other and others. Community activist Rabbi Michael Ben Youssef is offering a $500 reward for information leading to an arrest. At Area 2 Police Headquarters, Julian Cruz, WGN News.